Some projects require precise timing control. You may want your circuit to turn off or reset after a certain period of time, for example. A watchdog timer is a small piece of circuitry that automatically generates a signal after a period of time that can be used to detect errors or shut off the device. For instance, if the CPU or MCU is stuck at an instruction for many clock cycles, a watchdog timer can be used to reset it. Here I'll be making a very simple circuit that can be used as an add-on watchdog timer to any project. This is how it works. The clock circuit generates a pulse and after a certain number of pulses, predetermined by you, a signal will be sent. More specifically, the 555 timer in the A-stable mode creates a square wave at a frequency determined by this resistor ratio and this capacitor value. As you can see, this essentially is a very basic oscillator. You can learn more about this circuit from the link below. The second section of the circuit consists of a counter, which works by increasing the value on its output pins for every time a pulse is given to the input pin. The counter also has a reset pin, which, one pulse, will clear whatever value is output on the counter and start from zero. You can see that when the reset pin is left grounded, the chip starts off with all of the output values as one when the power is turned on. By connecting a capacitor to the reset pin, we can make sure that all of the outputs are zero when the circuit is turned on. Now let's connect the oscillating output of the 555 to the pulse input of the counter. As you can see, with every 555 pulse, the counter value, in binary, increases by 1. The higher values take longer to turn on, while the lower values take shorter. This is the foundation of our watchdog timer. Imagine that you connect one of the outputs of the counter to a CPU's reset pin. If the CPU is working correctly, you can include an instruction to regularly reset the watchdog timer so that it doesn't interrupt the CPU's work. However, if the CPU gets stuck, it won't be able to clear the watchdog timer, and after some time, the counter's output will reset the CPU, which will allow the CPU to start its program again, giving it another chance to complete its task without error. There are four pins on this board. This is positive power, this is the output, this is reset, and this is ground. The reset is the input which will reset the value on the counter. The output signal is the signal sent when the watchdog timer is not reset after some time. Through this dip switch, you can choose that time interval to be lower or higher. For example, when I choose the lowest time interval, you can see that the watchdog timer sends out the output pretty quickly. If I change to the longest interval, you can see that it takes much longer to send the output signal. By turning on the input pin, you can clear the watchdog timer's output signal and the counter. If you keep constantly pulsing this pin, as the CPU would theoretically do, the watchdog timer will never send an output, which would mean the CPU is doing fine and doesn't need a reset. You can also use this watchdog timer to shut off a circuit after some time. For example, if you make a project that, once turned on, should automatically turn off after some amount of time, you can use this timer. Let me show you. Here I have a fingerprint lock for my door. Once turned on, the fingerprint sensor waits for a finger and then checks if it is mine or not. But what if someone presses the button and doesn't present a finger? The circle will wait for a fingerprint until the battery runs out. So I can quickly attach this watchdog timer and pick how long I want the delay to be for the door lock circuit to turn off once turned on. Here's the maximum delay. And here's a shorter delay. This way I can know that the circuit won't run out of battery on accident and I won't be locked outside of my room. Whatever you choose to use it for, this simple watchdog can come in handy for many projects. The schematics for the circuit I built in this video are linked below. Thanks for watching.